I don't know what a momji is. Sorry. Oh, and as far as Spectre goes, like, I don't know if this is real or not, because everything involving Spectre is fucking, like, fake and gay. But I'll look at this just for fun. One second. So basically what happened is there is a guy called Spectre on the forum, and he's, like, a, a moderator for Nick Ricada's streams in his Discord, I think. And he he's really annoying um, to the point where I have put a little disclaimer under his avatar that says my views do not reflect the Kiwi farms or its users in any way, shape or form because what he likes to, he likes to use the Royal we when he's like condemning someone, he'll say like, we don't do that around here. We don't appreciate that. And if you do this, then we'll come down on you. It's like, okay, I don't know who the fuck we is. I'm assuming that he has like headmates. He has a headmate. That's like a, a Marine. And then he has another headmate that's like a Mossad agent, and they all like talk. And then he has another headmate who's um, a confidant of General Mattis in the Pentagon. But the gist is, is that he's like former military or something. And he has a really, really big chip on his shoulder. And I want to make it clear that I have no respect for the U.S. military. I don't understand why I'm supposed to. I never understood when I was growing up in a military town why everyone says, thank you for your service, and then if you see someone in fatigues at your at your Taco Bell, you're supposed to give them a 15% discount on their food because thank you for your service and all this shit. And it's like, these are people who had no direction in life, had no idea what they wanted to do or who they wanted to be, and said, like, I really need structure, and I need someone to tell me what to do every second of my day, and I need them to pay for everything. So while in high school, the military recruiter went up to them and said, do you like guns? Do you like Call of Duty? Do you want people to make hard decisions for you? Join the military. <clears throat> and then people like Spectre are like, oh, yeah, that sounds like it's for me. And then they get their their f fatigues, and they go through boot camp, and they get rewired to accept uh, commands and act on them unthinkingly, unblinkingly, without any moralizing or like situational awareness. Literally without question, they will commit, do whatever they are told. <clears throat> and then they get sent off to whatever desert shitbox Israel is currently invested in th at the moment. And then after you know 10 years, they, they retire and they get supplemental income for their entire life and free health care for their entire life. And then they become a contractor for the military and double dip the tax money for their entire life. And then they retire at 60. And it's like, I think they got what they, what they wanted, right? I mean, they do come home with like broken backs and missing limbs and like shrapnel embedded in them, but they didn't die protecting anything besides Israel. So why should I care? Anyway, Spectre's one of those people. He went to the military. And then he, um, now because he's like, a marine trained teenager he has to like find a way to make use of his time so he's like really invested in finding finding dirt about people and he he investigates super hard and comes back with all the intel right behind enemy lines but the problem with him is that he'll find something and then because he has iraqi shrapnel embedded in his brain he he can't think correctly so he gets like one piece of information and then kind of like when you're filling out a sudoku puzzle and you see that something works one way but it might not work all the ways he, he sees that it works one way and he thinks that must be it so he'll start filling in all the gaps without actually solving the puzzle correctly and he'll make a post on the forum saying that he's figured this all out and he has some evidence to back up what he's saying but he just lies about the rest of it and it makes everyone really confused and he he only does it because he wants ass pass from the forum. So once he once people catch on to this, that everything he posts is like half true, and they start making fun of him. He says, "Well, fine, I won't tell you the super true stuff, anyways. I'm keeping my hardcore marine intel to myself." And he had these stories about how he had Pentagon friends who knew General Mattis and all this shit. And he says, like, I'll just keep my, my super smart big big thanks all to myself, buddy boy.
And everyone's like, okay, leave. And now he doesn't like the forum. Even though he has like 2,000 posts on the forum, uh, he doesn't like it because everyone there is super angry uh, at him, apparently, for, for lying to, the, to them repeatedly. So this guy called JC or GC Positive says, I am sick of Spectre 06 trying to control things behind the scenes. He's been hoarding these for ages and grooming faith for information. It's all out in the open now. Um, this guy has 142 posts. His tagline is the Penguin of Doom. <laughs> he registered in 2019. I have no idea who this guy is. But he posts this uh, PDF. And um, I guess I can't open it in Firefox. Sorry. But, uh, you know, what? actually, there's a meme here that I think sums it up. He's talking to Faith. Allegedly. This is just this guy's PDF. Uh, no, wait. Autistic right saves the day. Here's the images. So this is allegedly him to Faith. And I, I don't know if he sent these, and chances are he probably didn't. But it starts out with, like, Hey, babe, it would be really funny if you got your new hubby to hold the kid and say something like, Xander loves his daddy. And then Faith replies, Well, this would be hilarious. My current partner is my best friend for many years, and I greatly respect his privacy. And my son, and I love my son more than life itself, unlike some others, but I will not put him out there. But a funny idea nonetheless. So he has like this huge back and forth. Allegedly, I think this is this might be all fake. I really don't know, but it includes a lot of like creepy shit, and I made a montage of it. Here, it's like, hey babe, it would be really funny if you got your hubby to hold the kid and say something like Xander loves his daddy. Don't worry about it, smiley face. I understand you cannot trust some anonymous person on the internet. Ha 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 ha. That is pretty funny. It's really smart of you not to talk a lot about this. Ha <laughs> ha. You really put a lot of effort into that relationship that you never reciprocated. All good. Take your time. Hey, babe. You have to do what's best for you. Ha <laughs> ha. Happy to help. I completely understand. Hey, babe. It's very thoughtful of you. Not your fault. Sorry to hear what happened to your high school. That in your high school, nobody believed. Ha <laughs> ha. It's good you're getting help. That I'm sorry that happened. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. The situation is really shitty and sickening. Ha <laughs> ha. So... I don't know. He went live. He he booted up the live stream immediately to debunk uh, all this shit. And he basically says that he's never talked to Faith except by email. And he showed his emails. So I don't know. It could be fake. But people are fucking with him now because he's being an asshole and trying to withhold information despite the forum. And he, his stream name was something like Salty Kiwi's Gay Ops Me. Because every, everything is like a gay op. People can't just fuck with him for fun. It's 100% Spectre. We'll see. We'll see. The, the Kiwis will get to the bottom of this. Okay. And, and he'll debunk them all by booting up his live stream to 20 people so that he can uh, he can correct the record. And he, he's like on Twitter, like, I'll make sure that they have to watch my live streams if they want to get it straight from the horse's mouth instead of posting on their forum. And it's really gay. It's really gay. And I, I, I really don't like him. I don't like anyone who does stuff because they want clout. It's a it's an entertainment forum. It exists to be funny. People are supposed to laugh. You're never going to further your career as a military psyops person. <laughs> hey babe. Hey hey Agrolith. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey babe. What what's your MOS? Ha <laughs> ha. Don't tell your commanding officer about me. <laughs> don't let don't let uh, General Mattis know you're talking to me about Pentagon information. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Someone clipped some stuff about Spectre that I'll play just because I think it's funny. I think this is the the origin of what I was talking about with the um uh, the General Mattis stuff. He's been begging to come on, Spectre. You have thirty seconds, sir, to give your there, you, you have five seconds of video that you can play before my fucking site will buffer and shit itself. I don't even know what causes that. I think it's like Cloudflare has to download the entire video or something and then cache it, and then it can play it back to you. I really don't know what the fucking, the fucking issue is. Maybe if it works better on RU. If I switch to Take. the Russian version, does this work better without Cloudflare? We're going to find out. We're exper experimenting live on air. 
Is it going to work? Is it the site itself which is broken? Caching is how you say it in Australia. And I've only ever heard the word said by Australian people because that's where I got my first job at. He's been begging to come on. Spectre, you have 30 seconds, sir. Oh, it does work through DDoS Guard. What the fuck? Spectre, go ahead. All right. So, um, you're claiming GS13SC status, correct, Zoom? I'm sorry, you're really loud. You said uh-huh, I believe, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're, you're claiming to be the pay grade equivalent in the civilian government of a light colonel or full commander. You understand that as an actual government employee, which I am as an O3E, as a former enlisted captain in the Marine Corps, and my ass is going down to the Pentagon next fucking week for at least a day, and I'm sitting down with Secretary Mattis and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Dunford, among others, I bring this up to them because we have had such a fucking issue that I become a mandated fucking reporter that I have to report this entire thing. And if you don't think that they're not going to fucking subpoena shit, they will hand this shit off to the FBI. They will ship this off to the Intel battalions in Okinawa and fucking at Fort Washuka, and they will fucking drag your shit up because they're not going to okay. tolerate this. So if you are lying about this, if you are an actual pedophile, stand the fuck by because they are going to find out and they are not going to fucking take this. They are not going to take this well. <laughs> okay. So uh, apparently people are complaining about the fuck. I don't know. I can hear it just fine. I don't know if you guys are like sitting there with like your speakers across the fucking room and you can only hear shit at a specific volume. But he's saying that he's going to sit down at a meeting with General Mad Dog Mattis at the fucking Pentagon to talk about Zoom. That's that's his statement. Why are military people like this? I think he was actually, I don't know, maybe he was stolen valor and he's just lying. But I'm pretty sure that he is actually military. They're all like this. They're all fucking crazy. You know, to state a claim, the court should deny Van Skyver's motion because, because A, uh, A, because he picked a fight in Texas and should be required to settle it in Texas, which... As a Marine, that statement, it speaks to me on a deeply personal level. I like the aggression. <laughs> it's a good quote that's actually from a law, that's actually from a case. I like it. Bad citation when we get to it, but I like it on a personal level. It, it speaks to me in a way that, oh, it just gets my pee-pee hard. And B. He's like trying to be Rakita. He doesn't have like a law background, though. I mean, I read documents, but they're all pertaining to me. So I can be a little bit cringe and pretend to know the law. I know I know a lot about getting sued, so I can I can speak to it. We oui. <laughs> is there another funny video? Oh, he went live to talk about it. There was um I think on fifty nine, perpes 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 He banned per perpes perpes This guy, he banned him immediately when he saw him in the live stream chat. Shout out to the stolen valor faggot. Boy, I'm having some laughs at your expense, boy. We're just getting started. Oh, shit. Hearing Ralph reminded me that we almost went an entire week without Ralph updates, but there is a small Ralph update, actually, to, to bring. Is this just Ralph being smug? You know who you are. He sounds drunk. What's this? The kill stream. They got you cocky, bros! When will they fucking learn? He's just like, I guess he's just happy. Bitch! Listen to me, bitch! Listen to the words coming out of my mouth, whore! <laughs> I love how happy he is like when anyone, anything bad happens. I like that. Ralph needs to be happy and cocky because that's when he makes the most mistakes. And I'm willing to throw spec. Oh, what's, he's right there. Why is he in my chat? He said he was never coming back. He's right there in my chat room. He's he's debunking. He's he's in the chat live, debunking the 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 story. He's come he's come to he's come to no man's land to debunk to debunk the theory. <laughs> Caught you. 